And after 18 months, he says, see you, you are in trouble. A man who does that does not know what he wants within himself. And said this without fear of contradiction. You're wasting your time. Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, we're going to jump into part two of the interview with uh, Coach Robert Barale. He's a phenomenal Kenyan motivational speaker. He provides support and guidance on relationships as well. And I don't know if you watched his uh, previous talk with me. It's, it's one of those talks that I wish I had had when I was dating because I did a lot of stupid things. And in part two of the interview, we are going to talk about ghosting. Why do men disappear and then come back? Are you supposed to take them back? And how long should it take for a woman to be able to see that this relationship is actually going somewhere? Hopefully, Robert Barale can give us the answers to all these important questions. So let's just jump right back into part two. Signs that this could be a healthy, long-term partner for you. What should you be looking for? Number one, the first few months of your relationship, you're building each other. You're working on the twosome, for lack of a better word. What conversations do you have? What are the main conversations? Yes, you can't be serious all the time. But if I am dating you and I'm thinking about you three years from today, I ask you, hey, Eve, why don't you think about doing your master's? I think you're a good interior designer. Why don't you add this? There's this seminar. Then after a couple of months, this is where now you need to understand. If the man is only introducing you to his fun buddies, the drinking buddies, the naivasha buddies, the parting buddies, you are in trouble. If in a six months he's not introducing you to people who are important to him, and I'm not saying his friends are not important, but you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That uncle he looks up to, their father, and it goes both ways, then you're in trouble because you cannot date for 10 years before you get married. That, that for Christ crying out loud. That's two presidential terms. After <laughs> six months, seven months, you must start seeing that he's comfortable with people who are very important to him knowing of your existence. Mm -hmm. But the problem is sometimes in this, this generation, it's okay as long as you're partying, as long as you're going to Mombasa, as long as you're going for club, as long as you're smoking shisha, I don't care about your family. Then after 18 months, he says, see you. Because you think that by playing it cool and just being fun, that that's what a man is attracted to, you know? You really are sabotaging your own happiness and success at Absolutely. having a, a relationship. There is a special breed that I, I, I don't think many of us can figure out or understand. And that is the men who ghost you. The first month is heaven on earth and you think this is it this this is the relationship i've been waiting for this is the man i have been praying for and then he just disappears number one yes you prayed for the man but he was not the answered prayer a man who does that does not know what he wants within himself so imagine if you're married to that kind of person january you'll be okay <laughs> February, there's no communication. Mm. March, you're okay again. So you got to understand that people sometimes get into relationships to look for completion. And that's where such things happen. You can never be completed by anybody else in a relationship. You must be complete within yourself and then complement each other. So a man who does that is a man who was looking for a top gap at a certain season. It doesn't mean they're bad people. Not at all. It just means they need to center themselves before they become the center of somebody else's life. What about in situations where he disappears, a month later resurfaces and just says, you know what, I just needed some time to figure myself out. Should you trust that? It's two way. He could be absolutely honest. And if that is the case, you have a good man. But some use that just as an excuse to walk in and walk back out, walk out and walk in as if nothing ever happened. But a man who can tell you, I was going through my issues and I needed some time off, is a man who really wants to make better their relationship while bettering himself. But sadly, we also have some not so good men using that to play people like a ping pong. Mm. So the discernment part of somebody is what comes into play. If somebody says they're dealing with some stuff and they're serious with you, then ask them, would you mind sharing? You may not want to tell me everything, but at least even part of your life, I need to have a hint of what you're going through and let me see how I can help you. If he's willing to let you in step by step, because men are very caged, we feel that sometimes when we let you in 100%, you will use it against us later. Because I wonder if sometimes men do this and they disappear. So there's like an opening because I can come back, which brings me to the next thing. Why can't men <laughs> tell women to their faces? Like, listen, I don't think this is the relationship for me right now. Why is it so hard for men to be honest? We don't 
want to hurt people. Sometimes it's our own insecurities. But also, Eve, sometimes it's just that maybe the women will not handle it very well. You say that to a woman and she's all over social media saying hashtag the devil himself. But yes, we need to get to a place where two grown-ups can have a conversation and say, listen, we've tried, but it's not working. We can part respectfully. But there are people who, when you part with them, this is both men and women, they want to cause so much damage that if I don't have you, no one else will. So that's mm. the problem we're having now. The yeah. digital era has messed relationships. I, I did a research a couple of years ago and a higher percentage of divorce cases have the name Facebook in the divorce proceedings. Really? Absolutely. Why did that woman like your status? Why did you comment there and you didn't comment on my photo? Why did you say she has beautiful red hair? You didn't comment about my, my Brazilian weave. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> so we are getting to a place where people are scared to say some hard, painful truths for fear of things blow, being blown out of proportion based on the tools that are available to us in this digital era. Do you think that every relationship that we get into could be a reflection of what's happening on the inside? Do you think Absolutely. that we are what we attract? One of the greatest mistakes people do and they fall into that is that they have a breakup with person A and they look for person B not to love them, but they look for person B to help them forget person A. So then you're not entering there looking for mutual respect and love. You are entering to a, into a relationship with person B with a medicinal end in mind. You'll be my pain killer because person A gave me a headache. And the moment you go into that, you will, will, you will expose yourself. You will want to have sex with person B very easily. And then you're like, okay, so I have now forgotten person A. So I have no reason to be with person B because you're done. So you start looking for person C. And then sometimes instead of looking at ourselves and having an introspection, we start blaming the other people because we do not want to deal with our own issues and to accept where we have gone wrong is. The one major sign, do you think, that this is not going to go anywhere? If the man is only asking for things within, within fleshly desires. And yes, in a relationship, you must be physically, intellectually, and spiritually connected. If there's no balance, there's a problem. If the man is only calling you and having the sex talk with you, all he tells you, please come, it's cold, come to my house. And you get to the house, you remove your shoes, sit in the sitting room. He says, please, let's go to the bedroom. The conversations, if they are just hanging around those sides, this man has objectified you, not seeing you as somebody who can bath his vision, not seeing somebody who can incubate. Because a man gives vision, a woman incubates the vision and brings it into manifestation. So if the conversations are not hanging around in those two things, your right leg is on a banana peel and your left leg is on a slippery floor, you will fall. <laughs> I love that. I think my, my last yeah. question is, where is this going? Women are very afraid to ask that question. Or is it okay for a woman to bring that up? The man offers direction, Eve. But it doesn't mean that if he's taking too long to offer direction, a woman cannot ask what's going on. Where are we heading with this? If a man does not give you solid uh, hints as to him wanting to marry you within 14 months, I can say this without fear of contradiction. You're wasting your time. What about being exclusive? How long do you think it should take for you to have a conversation that, okay, we are not seeing other people, we are exclusively together? Three months is enough. There has to be, that is the foundation now. You're digging the foundation. Three months, you cannot be putting on Facebook, you're in an open relationship. It's complicated. It's complicated. No. <laughs> within three, yes. Even the three months in pregnancy is the first trimester. This is when things are forming. And then in the second trimester, you are now seeing the bulge in some women. It's open that you two are dating. In the third trimester there is a baby coming out the wedding must now start manifesting so three months is enough you know what I, yeah. I i think you have been so insightful i'm i'm hoping that men and women over time can get to some sort of an understanding i think that's all it is understanding and thank you so much for having me you're doing a fantastic job and i do hope that people who are watching have been blessed i hope the information has made them better and they'll make uh, better and clear-cut decisions going forward Thank you so much. Thank you.